episode 2 of print and paint today we're doing the spider-man bust on my mini factory it's from david hostman give you a quick look a really nice one i really like this model and i can't wait to paint it let's see if we can make the print okay i'm in g2 box uh, so as you can see i'm gonna angle the the model a little bit then hollow it uh, what's nice about this one is like I think the angle is really easy if you want to print this one just angle it the same way as I did and the print is gonna be really easy I'm just gonna hit auto support keep the small pieces to fix the hole then make sure you go around the base here like I'm doing uh, auto support they, they are going on the side like as you can see they're they not exactly on the edge and that's what you want if you don't have it you're gonna have your edge a bit wobbly so just go around and you're good i'm just adding some small support making sure i don't have a small island anywhere but the piece itself is really, is really like big and steady so and really smooth so super easy to support i'm back on the printer gonna have a look great finish I'm gonna show you how I clean my print a little bit so I just dip it in the APA directly and then I just take off the support by hand so you just go slowly like you make sure you're not going to rip apart a small piece of your model but just with your finger pinch the support and take them slowly now i'm brushing <clears throat> the thing as well under the support you're going to have a lot of apa here so the brush here is really useful and i'm cleaning the resin inside now Okay, we're back. The print was great. There was no mistake. <laughs> a good result. I managed to drain, uh, to drain the, the resin inside this time. So I had three holes total and uh, I really made sure I had APA going inside and water, make sure it was dry. When I drilled the hole in G2 box, uh, I kept the small the small pieces come on focus and then I've put them back so I had two holes here and one under here and with uh, I just put back the hole the small piece inside some glue I sand it and now it's really good uh, the support as well was really really nice uh, no major damage or anything so yeah that's good the black uh, primer is looking good we're going to start with the the base coat so i'm going for the classic color red and blue and white for the eyes and spider um, i'm gonna go really dark on this model i want more like of a dirty kind of look uh, a bit more realistic not like a comic really flashy color I've tried another angle for the camera this time I hope it's better even if I'm putting the model in the wrong place <laughs> The back, the side and back of the model have nothing, they're just there. So I still use blue and trying to make some sense about it. Like if it's the back of the, the model, but there is nothing to paint really. Now I'm washing uh, with black wash, uh, the whole model, stone, red, whatever. 
just try to keep the cohesion, try to make the, the piece going together, I guess. Like Even later on, yeah, I just go over the white. And now I can't see anything. <laughs> see when it dries looking better already. I'm going over with this red and trying to highlight each scale I guess we can call it scale every species of the, the spidey suit. So I'm just going for like a top left highlight I'm going slowly on each scale. Now when I was done, I, I went back and try brush some red as well. And just to give a bit more color going over the wash. It's blending the highlight a bit as well. second part I'm doing is the stone, so I just wait, went for a classic color or some grey, um, brushing with some bony color on top, a really easy process. back on the stone with bone color but I've mixed it with uh, orange and some ink color. so the the color is a bit yellow you can see on the on the video it's really light and subtle but it's making a big difference if you go for a highlight try to not just put white or lighter color try to go warmer or cooler same for here, I'm going once again over each part of the scale and I went for orange and red mixed together. I really want the feeling of the light hitting the, the model and not just a brighter color. So you can play with it. If you want a warm color, just go for orange or red. If you want something a bit cooler like blue, purple even. Thank you. 
went with metal paint and some brownish gold and then on top I washed some brown and later I redefined the, the metal on the highlight. So I just use kind of a rusty feeling on it. Darken the, the blue part again, almost all the back. It doesn't look that good in itself, so I'm trying to darken everything. Okay, I'm done with the Spider Man. I'm really happy with this one. It's not the best paint job ever, but I'm pretty happy the print went really well, the painting as well. I've done mostly some highlights on the, the red. The back of the model is pretty like blend. So I just put some blue to keep the color, color team, but um, focus on the red, keep the white spider at the front and the eyes just pure white give some kind of accent to it and then the stone at the bottom just some basic stuff and just try to keep it really like um, dirty and a bit contrast contrasty I guess so yeah really happy everything went really well and see you in the next episode